So? Can you see me? Swinging across rivers on a rope, playing Jane to his Tarzan. You could have made love under the stars. He's gone to Cheshire. It'll be raining and I rust in the damp. It's romantic. I don't know why he wanted to go. All this post-war training stuff, it's a waste of time. He'll miss you. He won't. He'll find somebody else and why not? Only a fool like her suffers more than they have to. Sheena, come out with me tonight. Not tonight. I must get my costume together now or I never will. Maybe some excuse. Have you invited someone to the party? Not yet. Well, you should. All this effort. You ought to get the fun out of it. I will. I'll see you later. Okay. Julie? What? If this post-war training is a waste of time, what do you think will happen? Oh, it'll be a war. People are always making out we're on the verge and we're not. And anyway, if it really comes to the crunch, they'll stop us. That's why they're out there. Who's they? Never you mind. Take my word for it, there won't be a war. Is this film or photo still? Back ten seconds. Run film. Primitive ritual do we have here? You forgot your hour at work. Oh, sorry, Kate. Got a bit carried away with this. Should I go now? Oh, no, don't worry. Most of them are fast asleep dreaming away. They'll most likely sleep through till tea. But if you can remember tomorrow, we promise to take them for a walk. She's rather nice, isn't she? Is she? Q Central, close up. Oh, yes, she can come to our party. She's old enough to be a mother, Adam. Incest she? is very popular in my family. Oh, it would be. I never thought about that. Well, incest, delightful, it saves travelling. <laughs> she could still be alive, could she? Oh, a lot of the PM survived rehabilitation and settled down to marriage, kids and a normal life. It's not incurable. She could be one of those old ladies you push around. But they're all in their 60s. Oh, a lot of them look older than they actually are. Nobody's saying it was an easy treatment. What's that on her coat? Oh, it's a badge. They all wore the same badge, herd instinct. What's it meant to be? Symbol of the movement, I suppose. What's it a symbol of, then? Q Central, close up. Does it have to be of anything? I don't know. Maybe it's a missile. Or maybe it's a tree. Uh, it's a phallic symbol. Oh. Really, the whole movement was sexually repressed. Oh. That's why they got into all these ideological fantasies. <laughs> if they'd worked it out in bed, they wouldn't have done all those crazy things. I think it's a tree with roots. But it doesn't have any branches. There is no future for the psychomasochist. Lightning will strike you dead one of these days, oh. Adam. I never stand under trees. Do you like it, Kate? Oh, it's lovely. Mm. I think I preferred it off. No. <laughs> she looks so sad in that shot. In all the others, she's smiling. They were sad, Sheena. Full of self-inflicted nightmares about ultimate destruction. Sometimes they dream of an impossible world where the threat of war was just magicked away. And they'd wander around smiling. That wasn't often. Truth is, they really enjoyed their suffering. That's what psychomasochism is. My father defined it as the love of the pain of hoping for the hopeless. But didn't they just harm themselves? Why were the new regulations brought in? <laughs> Nobody just harms themselves. We live in a society. Everything we do or think affects other people. It became like a fever, especially during the youth riots. When the new wealth youth program came in, that took the edge off it a bit. But even then, some of the diehards tried direct action against the Defense Department. Then the psychiatric laws had to be established. For their good, as well as ours. They're so cheap, these earrings. I don't think I can bring myself to wear them. 
Why would anyone want to hold on to their suffering? Why do people think they're Napoleon? There's no logical explanation to it. That's why it's insane. Is she dead now, do you think? Who knows? My parents never talked about that time. It was only a few years ago. Might as well be the other side of the moon, for all I know. Why do you think people don't talk about it? I suppose because it makes us sad. And that's a symptom. Sound, please. At a large anti-nuclear rally in this country. While Tony Benn said it was time Britain stood up to the Americans and closed their missile bases here. The CND say the size of today's London rally. We didn't so much inherit the earth from our ancestors, in fact, as we borrowed it from our descendants. Reference. Caldecott. Because I can't see the world stopping this mad momentum towards annihilation until and unless something happens. Do we have to have half a million martyrs? Maybe that Titan missile should have blown up the other day in Arkansas and blown up the story Arkansas. Cut. Return to memory. Still 43, no soundtrack. Look at this. It's genuine. It's terrific, Joe. Isn't it? What does it mean? Oh, what do you mean, what does it mean? Well, what is it? Oh, I don't know, Sheena. Films of Silverstone, they all wore little shirts like this with the names of oil on them or tires. Maybe it's the sun, natural energy. <laughs> Maybe it's just a child's face. Don't you think she's got a beautiful face? <laughs> She must be about 40 now. Yeah? Well, don't you think she was beautiful? Where's the rest of your costume? What rest? You should have jeans or trousers and shoes and socks. No, I was just planning to wear the shirt. Well, you can't do that. You've got to do it properly. You can't be these people just by sticking a shirt on. I don't want to be them. It's just a game, that's all. It has to be done properly or it'll be no good. It has to be done seriously. It's only a party. It's my birthday party. Yeah, I know that, but, I mean, we don't want to carry it too far, do we? You have to show respect. For what? Look, it's a bit of a song and dance, isn't it? Shoes and all. It's more than a song and dance. It's my birthday. It's the day I was born. Yeah, I see that, Sheena. Only, I mean, we're not going to go out. And dancing in shoes and socks, it'll cripple us. Nobody will do it. It'll look ridiculous otherwise. It's supposed to look ridiculous. They were ridiculous with their daft shirts and badges. That's the whole point. Don't you care? About what? Well, you'd care if it was some sort of car party, wouldn't you? you Everything would be exact then. You don't have car parties. Car rally instead of a people's rally. You don't have car rallies anymore either. Please. All right, I'll wear the shoes. But if it stops being fun, what's the point? It will be fun. Of course it will. Apparently, all the bombs used on both sides in World War II come to about five megatons. So in one bomb dropped on one city, you can quadruple the effect of all the bombs used in the Second World War. And they're quite easy to make and they're very cheap. The bomb, uh, when it exploded, caused people to vaporise and they left their shadows on concrete parapets behind them. That's all that was left. Other people were seen running down the streets with the skin literally shedding off their bodies. And a man was walking past a group of bushes and he heard some noises and he went in there and he found about 20 men all in exactly the same state. They must have had their eyes upturned at the time of the explosion and their eyes had melted. And the fluid from their eyes was running down their cheeks. And I'll describe now a dream one of my colleagues had recently. She dreamt that she got to a shelter in Boston, which is unrealistic because Boston would disappear, but it was a dream. And as she was undoing the hermetically sealed latch on the door, she realized that there'd be no landmarks. 
that Boston would have disappeared. She wouldn't be able to find a way. And then she realized something else, that there would be 2.2 million dead, decaying bodies. With bacteria and viruses mutating to become more virulent, and her immune mechanism would be depleted by radiation. And she realized as a physician that she couldn't face the carnage. So what she then realized in a dream was she lacked an adequate supply of sleeping tablets. with a message from Scotland Yard. Drivers are warned to stay well away from central London as there is bound to be considerable delays along the route of the mile. Don't worry, I'll get us there. So beware, it's just a fault from the distributor. Nothing serious. It wouldn't be too much of a sick joke if we all got blown up in the car instead. You made up your mind to come with us, yeah? Well, what's the matter with you? Bad dreams, or is it unrequited love? Why aren't you wearing the T-shirt? What T-shirt? The sun. The child's face. What is the matter? I just came to say I was sorry. What for? For shouting at you about the shoes. Look, sit down, love, before you fall down. Do you want a coffee to wake you up? Why have you got all this stuff? Why does anybody have possessions? Give them a full sense of security, I suppose. I didn't know you'd go this far. Where did you go last night after the film? We were all looking for you. What film? Well, the Caldecott lecture. You've seen it as well. We all did. I thought I was the only one. It's disturbed you, hasn't it? Can't go on making it into a party, well, can What we? party? It was supposed to be a party. We just went to see a film, not a party. I didn't see the film with you. Look. Well, look, what she said disturbed me as well. It's a good thing, that's all I know. If it doesn't affect us, what hope is there? That's why the powers won't show on telly. It's like a war game. The scared will react and do something. No, I shan't be saying. Angie? Angie, what is it? Angie, what is it? To me. We can't help you if you don't talk to us, Angie. What did you call me? Angie. Angie. Paula? Who do you think it is? I thought it was... The room's wrong. It's not the way I remember it. Well, I doubt Malcolm's done any Malcolm. decorating. He said the film upset you. I must have dreamt. It was years from now. We're all in a unit. With good. There's good parties. Worrying about the bomb, it's mad. It doesn't do any good. It'll all be all right. It's a waste of time worrying about it. We're all all right. I mean, we're happy without bothering about all that. It's mad. It doesn't do any good. You had a nightmare. It wasn't a nightmare. This is the nightmare. What did you dream, Angie? The bomb hasn't gone off. It hasn't gone off, I tell you. It won't go off. Have they got rid of the bomb? Isn't it there anymore? Of course, they haven't got rid of it. You can't put the clock back. They live with it. Well, how do they live with it? What do you mean? Well, are they happy? Do they have a purpose in life? Are they building? Building? Building what? Well, I don't know. What do they want to build for? I don't know. If the nuclear threat still remains, it must affect the way they think, the way they act. Nobody again. thinks about the bomb. There's no point in thinking about it. What else don't they think about? Stop interrogating me. Can I have sugar? Oh, that's okay. It's gonna have to be. It's, uh, there if you want it. Did Jaro come through? Uh, no, no, I have to go down there. They like to see me queue up and give thanks. <laughs> 